everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel today. We're at Fox Hollow again, <laughs> uh, trying to knock out a bunch of videos. Uh, but I always struggle hitting chip shots off of tight lies and I know a lot of other people do as well. So I'm going to show you all the different types of shots that you can hit off a of tight lie, how to use the bounce, how to kind of set up um, different techniques you can do to hopefully make tight lies a little bit easier. I know that it's very scary at times and it's one of the hardest shots to hit. So hopefully this will give you some confidence when you are playing a course with some tight lies. So the first shot we're going to hit is just a basic chip shot and again this comes down to using the bounce correctly. I think a lot of people get really scared on tight lies and they don't trust that the bounce is going to work with them and also it's tempo, having good tempo and confidence. I see a lot of people off the tight lies, they'll come here and they give up on it and just kind of stub it in the ground, they'll look up and it's just a very quick tempo and you really want to have it be kind of almost as slow as possible and let the club do the work. You really don't have to do that much with uh, chip shots. You just kind of let the hands fall. One thing I like to do is a lot of practice swings to see where the club is bottoming out. And so if it's hitting in the same spot every time, then you have pretty good body awareness. But if you're doing this and you're hitting back here, and then the next one is up there, and then it's here, you can see the inconsistency by just how you're swinging it. So I want you guys to get to the point where you're doing these swings and you're hitting it in the exact same spot every single time. Next, so when I step in, this is just my normal setup for just a basic chip shot. I use my 54 degree wedge around the greens all the time. I very rarely um, change clubs. It's just a club that I feel most comfortable with. So just for a basic chip shot, I have it set square, but that might look open to a lot of people because amateurs tend to de-loft the club and they feel like that is actually square, but that's shut. So this is actually a square, just normal setup. That's open, normal, closed. So normal setup. I like to have my feet just a little bit apart. I like to turn them out just slightly. Choking down is key on this shot in most short game shots. It just gives you more control over the club and what's happening. And then from here, it's mostly just a body turn. So my arms actually never really separate from my chest. And so when I'm here, I have um, pressure on my chest the entire time. I can feel it touching. And then when I step in, it's just a little bit of a wrist cock. So I almost just kind of let it flow up. And then from here, I almost just let my hands just kind of drop and let the club do the work. Again, you want to make it as easy as possible on yourself. that. So again, if you can see how effortless that looks, that comes with a lot of uh, time and practice, but it's just confidence and not making it too hard on yourself. I feel like people, when it comes to short game, they complicate it so much and the tempo is all wrong. And so if you just let the club do the work and trust that it's going to come down on the ball, you don't have to put too much energy into it and you have trust in yourself to be able to do that, it's gonna be more consistent for you. That was just very good though. <laughs> Next shot is a lower shot um, if you just want to roll a little bit more. So the, ch the setup changes just slightly and the technique changes just a little bit, but it's really the same mentality of having good rhythm, having that trust in yourself and letting the club head do the work. So we have square here, we choke down, feet are the same. What I'm going to do here now is just de-loft the club. And so I'm just gonna push my hands forward and it's still going to have that connection with your arms to your chest and a little bit of a wrist cock. The only difference is when I'm dropping it down, I'm actually gonna kind of hood the club and turn it over. And that way it's gonna make the ball go lower. I almost think about it like I'm hitting like a baby draw with my club and so it's kind of like this in and turnover technique. You almost feel like your hand's pushing this way. That's how I like to think about it. And again, that's gonna get that kind of lower running shot. So same setup, hands forward. So as you can see, it had a lower ball flight and it ran out a lot more. And it all had to do just with two really small changes. Setup was almost exactly the same, just hands a little bit farther forward. And that turning over technique 
He's really going to get the ball to run out. Again, set up normal, choke down, do off the hands. Really easy shot. Um, I really hope, want you to kind of like work on that hand movement where it's just almost kind of like after impact, that's when you turn it over. Just watch how my hands are moving through impact. So it's as easy as that. Um, just that hand movement is a really big change and setting the club a little bit more forward. You don't have to really exaggerate it. So it's not like I'm telling you to be here. It's really just very small changes and that's how you just hit a little bit lower. And the last shot is the higher shot. And this isn't a flop shot. I've talked about this uh, before where you have a really open, really wide stance, you lower your hands and a uh, big exaggerated wrist cock, you just let your hands fall down. Uh, the flop shot technique and the bunker shot uh, technique is exactly the same. So this is just a little bit of a higher shot, a safer shot. Hitting the flop shot is high risk and sometimes it doesn't always work out exactly how you want it to work out. And so this is if you just need it a little bit higher, but again, it spins slightly more, but it's a safer shot. So what I like to do is open the, you know, it's almost kind of the same setup as well. Um, I just like to have my stance just a little bit wider. So a little wider stance, open the club face, choke down. And from here, you really let the hands kind of fall and do the work. I still have that connection with my arms and my chest. So it's not a super high shot, but it just spins a little bit more, lands a little bit softer, and it's much safer than the flop shot. So, open. As you can see, when it hits, it checked up really quickly compared to the first one kind of hit soft and rolled out the second shot which was the lower shot hit and rolled a lot and this one hit you could really see backspin and just roll up slightly so it uh, is a great shot to use all the time and I would actually recommend that you guys hit this shot instead of the flop shot it's gonna save you so many shots throughout a round most times you really don't need to hit the flop shot it's more for uh, <laughs> looks and to just have a fun shot in your bag um, but there's very rare times where you'll actually need to hit that shot. We're not playing on greens that are really firm and fast and with really thick rough that you see the guys on tour and that's why they need that shot a little bit more. You'll just need this shot and so replace this with your flop shot. So as you could see, very small changes but the outcome you could see a big difference and again I think people overcomplicate short game and they try to do too much and you really don't have to as you could see my tempo was the same on every single shot setup was almost identical just how the club face was moving a little bit through impact at setup because it was a little more closed open um, and my hand movement but everything else was the same so make sure you go out practice as much as possible short game is going to save you so many shots and these are great shots for tight lies you're just trusting that the club is going to do what it needs to do you don't have to force it down anytime that you're forcing it that's when bad things are going to happen so again really just trust the club is going to hit the way it's supposed to uh, the ball is going to react how you want all you need to focus in on is your tempo and having trust and making sure you're not looking up too soon or staying too down on it um, if you keep connected have that tempo uh, you're good to go. This technique works with almost every club in your bag so if you're not a fan of a 54 maybe like a 58 or a pitching wedge you can still do the same technique with almost every single club so just keep that in mind when you're heading off with tight lines. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next Thursday.